Hi guys and welcome back to my portions. Here we have Taylor today, she's going to be my co-star. Uh, it dawned on me last time that I spent way too much time cooking and not enough time portioning. So today we're really going to spend a lot of time portioning. We just went through the grocery shop. So Taylor, what did you think about that? What was that experience like? That was like unlike anything I've ever done before. It goes against everything I've ever been taught in my life about food and dieting and everything. And the fact that you can just eat everything that you want, but just portions. <laughs> eat everything that you want. That scares me. You can eat any kind of food well, you want. Kind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, however, portion size is super critical. I want to spend as little time cooking as possible. I want to really focus on the portioning. However, I do need food, so we're going to keep it super simple. Baked potatoes, chicken, jerk chicken sauce. This is going to be my main protein for the week. You guys really don't need me to teach you how to make jerk chicken from a bottle anyway. So we're just going to pop this in the oven and get right to it. Taylor, do you mind grabbing those potatoes and throwing them in for me? So welcome back. Here we have my week and a couple days for her. She doesn't like preparing her food too far in advance. I said that's no problem. I like to get it all done at once just because I have very little time. At the same time, we have groceries. Taylor, I want you to break this down into a carbs pile, okay. a protein pile, and a fat pile. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. So, Fudgicles, Special K Delicio. This will be the carb pile. Yes, and those aren't actually all of her food choices. I picked some of those up just so we could discuss them. Do you know what makes a carb a carb? No, no, I don't actually. So all carbohydrates break down into glucose, sugar. Okay. And then it travels through your blood and it gets stored in three spots. Your muscles, your liver, and stored fat in the form of glycogen. That's what makes a carb a carb. Okay. Protein breaks down into tiny amino acids. And fat transports your vitamins and minerals and makes your cell walls. We did discuss that last time. Perfect, so I mean, it looks like you know what's what. Yeah. You can distinguish between a carb and a protein. Yeah. Fantastic. So I'll just pass you some stuff, because you know where it's going. Sorry. I get, I get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Okay, so it looks like we didn't get any fats. No, we didn't. But that's okay, because you have olive oil, you said? Yes. Uh, which is gonna be your main fat. And also, some of your meats here are also fatty. Yes. And we have eggs. So, what are your numbers? Um, 30 carbs, 38... Oh my God. Protein. Yeah, there we go. 38 protein, and then 12 uh, fats. And how often are you gonna eat that? Every three hours. You're gonna shoot for every three hours. Yeah. You're gonna do your best. Now she's already said she does not eat every three hours. And I said, force it for two weeks and see how you feel. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> she's gonna do it. Fantastic. So with that being said, your numbers are 30, 40, pretty much. Yeah. And 12. What does that look like? So essentially, it's breakfast time. What are you gonna have for breakfast? 30 grams of carbs. Carbs. Um, I have vanilla almond. Special K cereal? Yep, special K cereal. Fantastic. How much of this are you going to burn in the next three hours? The whole thing, wouldn't I? Well, 30 grams. Oh, yeah. But what grams. does that mean? 30 grams of carbs. Yeah, so how much cereal is that? So that would be three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup yeah. of cereal. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. You just read this. Is there any fat in here? There is one gram. Okay, so not very much. What no. about protein? 
protein. We have two grams of protein. Two grams of protein. Again, not very much. No. So we have a three quarters of a cup of special K. Yeah. Fantastic. What are you gonna have for protein? Protein. What are you gonna match with that for breakfast? Well, this here, uh, yeah, that's, you're gonna have with it. I'm gonna have with it, and right? Protein. And how much? How much carbs is in one cup of this? One cup, only one gram of carbs. One gram that's of carbs. Insane. One gram of carbs. What about in regular milk? In regular milk, there's 12 grams in one cup. 12 grams. So essentially, I could drink 12 cups of this, or one cup of this. Yeah. So now if you were having cereal and you wanted real milk, you'd only be able to have half of the three quarters of a cup. Yeah. Right? Whereas this, you could have the three quarters of a cup. A gram, it's not gonna hurt you. No. You're not gonna notice a gram. No. Nine grams, that's half your meal. That's, yeah. Well, a third of it. Okay, so we've got the carbs, we still need protein. Protein. Um, it's breakfast time. Breakfast, I'd probably eat a few of these. Turkey sticks. Yeah. Fantastic. How many turkey sticks are you gonna have? Oh, I can only have like six. You're looking at six. Six, yeah. That's quite a bit. That's a lot. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of food. <laughs> it is. Um, you, you have a thousand calorie window to play with. Okay. Um, what if you didn't want turkey sticks today? What else could you have? What else would I have? I could have uh, egg whites. Egg whites. Egg white omelet. Egg white omelet. Perfect. Six grams of protein in a quarter cup. You're looking at Cup and a half. Cup and a half. <laughs> Cup and a half, right? Wow. I know. But keep in mind, people that eat mostly protein yeah. are mostly muscle. Okay. And people that eat mostly carbohydrates look like they eat mostly carbohydrates. <laughs> yes. Right? This is very true. I will happily show you a picture of myself when I'm eating carbs and when I'm eating protein. We'll throw that picture <laughs> up right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, breakfast is taken care of. She's gonna have cereal, she's gonna have eggs, or turkey sticks. Is there any other breakfasts you could come up with out of what we've got here? Protein shake? Maybe a protein shake? Yeah. Okay, so that takes care of your protein. What are you gonna have for carbs? For carbs, I'd have Grapes? Yeah. Grapes and protein, fantastic. So in a grape, there's actually one gram of carbs. That's insane. So if you want 30 grams of carbs, you're gonna have 30 grapes. Okay. 30 grapes, you're gonna need a scoop and a half of protein right now, okay? These numbers are gonna change. My numbers change, I would say, every four to six weeks because we plateau and we wanna break through that. Yeah. Right? Uh, you will need to add a bit of fat to this meal Scoop of peanut butter, maybe? Amazing. Right? Scoop of peanut butter. Um, your fat, you don't really have to go too out of your way to add fat. In our North American diet, we generally, we get our fats. We get you know your what fats. I mean? <laughs> uh, great. So you have lots of options for breakfast. There's lots of options. Three hours later, you're gonna need to eat again. Some snacks. So basically a snack, a mid-morning snack. Granola bars? Granola bars. How yeah. many granola bars can you have? I can have, well, carbohydrates, so I can have two, oh, two bars. Two bars, yeah. which is one which package. Which yeah. uh, Comes out to 28 yeah. and 11 fat. Yeah. Literally perfect. Yeah. Aside from you need to add protein. There's also five grams of protein in here. Okay. So how much more do you need? So I need at least 25 more. 35 more. Oh, 35 more. But that's okay. Uh, 35 more. Uh, you said you're gonna cook your chicken and stuff like that throughout the day. Yeah. Right? So what I've done is I've got a couple different kinds of protein here. We have jerk chicken, sh chicken shawarma, because I love chicken shawarma. That's pretty much in my menu all the time. We have ham. We have salmon. We have pork tenderloin. We even have some noose. <laughs> some noose. <laughs> Pobody's perfect. We have some moofs. <laughs> Some moose from Newfoundland, right? If it had eyes, fair game. It's protein. Good. So 
three hours later, we're gonna have one bar and what? What can you bring with you? Some protein. Pick a protein. I do some chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma. Yep. You need four ounces of chicken shawarma. As a general rule, we're gonna go with 10 grams of protein per ounce. So if your numbers come out to three ounces, uh, sorry, 30 grams of protein, you're gonna have three ounces of meat. She needs 40, she's gonna have four ounces of meat. I need 50, five. So I need five and a half ounces of meat. Yes. Right, on my meal plan right now. I just switched my meal plan this week because it's been three weeks and I'm starting to slip a little bit. Mm. So it's time to switch it up though. and keep going. Fantastic. Breakfast, snack. We've come to lunch. What are you gonna have for lunch? Okay, lunch, what am I gonna have? Some oatmeal. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And for protein? For protein, I more. More turkey sticks. Turkey sticks, yeah. Fantastic. Three hours later, you're gonna need another snack. Another snack, okay. I know. All right, let's, let's get into the stuff. Oh my God. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Tostitos. Yeah, Tostitos, fantastic. Jeepers. Yeah. Oh, how many Tostitos can you have? I can have 11 chips. You can have 11 chips? Yeah. You're, you can have 11 Tostitos and lose weight? Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm telling you. She's gonna have Tostitos, guys. But what are you gonna have with these Tostitos? Um, I need some protein. You need some protein? Yep, so maybe do it with the jerk chicken? Maybe do it with like, the jerk chicken. Make it, make oh. it like a nacho kind of thing? Now we're getting interesting. Yeah. What about cheese? Could we add cheese to this? Yeah, because you get your fats with that. Oh no, never mind. Oh. <laughs> oh no, see, this is the trick. To this it. is the tricky part. No. <laughs> so we got 13 grams of fat in here. Unfortunately, you don't need to add fat. No. See, I'm going through and I'm saying how much food people can have. Yeah. And I'm saying this is good for three hours. You can have this. Okay. Right? And then when I say this is also good for three hours, people think they can have these together. No. No. <laughs> Sorry. You can't do that. It doesn't Sorry. work like that. You get one of each. So, Tostitos jerk chicken. Now you're coming upon dinner time. Okay, dinner time. So I'm gonna make some salmon. Some salmon? Rice. Salmon and rice. Yep. This okay. is already perfectly portioned for you. Perfect. Okay. Nature has really taken care of stuff. Yes. It's just our North American attitude that it doesn't matter how much we eat as long as it's way too much. Right? This is definitely true. Um, essentially, that's, that's your day. You just went through groceries. Yeah. And made yourself a menu out of foods that you want to eat and picked yourself and you've portioned it for weight loss. Yeah. That was actually so simple to do. Like, right? if I can eat all this stuff and lose weight, that's, that's amazing. It's, it's mind blowing. It really I'm gonna, is though. I'm gonna take my shirt off in just a minute, don't you worry. <laughs> um, at the same time, we're gonna go through some stuff here and we're just gonna really drill down the portion size. Okay, so we know that for the meat, one ounce per 10 grams. I shouldn't have to talk about that ever again. Okay. Um, how much monster can you have? You can have monster. You can have anything you want, as long as you have it in the right size. Fair enough. So with monster, you can have half a can. Half a can. Yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah. See, when I see food, I have a gift. I see time. So when I look at this, this is going to take me six hours to burn off. Yeah. If I have half now and half in three hours, I can meet my goals. If I have this with some Tostitos, I'm not gonna make my goals. No, that's definitely not gonna right? happen. Right? How about pizza? How much pizza can we have? How much pizza we can have? So, an eighth. An eighth of the an pizza? An eighth of the pizza, yeah. So essentially we have, in a quarter pizza, 56 grams of carbs and 16 fat. Yeah. So if you had half of that, that would be within your numbers. Yeah. So if you were to cut this pizza into eight pieces, yeah. pick a protein, have a slice every three hours, are you gonna lose weight this week? <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> you are gonna lose weight. Unbelievable. 
how much apple juice can you have in a three hour window? In a three hour window. You can have one. One apple juice? Yeah, one apple juice. Wow, that's pretty simple. I you can also that. have one banana. Amazing. Or one potato. Okay. Or an apple. Nature has really taken care of this for us. Just, we don't pay attention. This is good for three hours. This is good for three hours. A potato is good for three hours. Clementines is, uh, you get two of those. You can have two of those for yourself. Yeah. Guys, I really wish I could just give you all your numbers right now, but we all burn calories at a different rate. So what she burns today is definitely not what I'm gonna burn today, right? And it's definitely not what you're gonna burn today. So I really need to work with you directly just to get you these initial numbers, right? And then from there, we taper off and we add on. And it's just like a journey. Yeah. Uh, what about fudgicles? Because you know what? That's in my grocery cart, not hers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think this would be able to be in anybody's grocery cart. You can have two fudgicles. I, I can have two fudgicles. Yeah. You can have one. I can have one. You can have one. I can have two fudgicles. These are also gluten free. If you notice, my food is all gluten free. I stay away from gluten. I quit gluten one time, which is flour, one ingredient, first of all. I dropped 20 pounds like that just from quitting flour. Just I flour. Thought, I thought I was lactose intolerant until somebody at my work said that she uh, had a gluten sensitivity and she thought she was lactose intolerant. And she started listing all the symptoms, and I'm like, geez, I should look into this. Yeah. So I quit gluten. Two weeks later, I felt great, and I lost 20 pounds very, very rapidly. I had one beer, which was a wheat beer. Yeah. Landslide. Pizzas, all sorts oh, of yeah. stuff. Um, I put the 20 pounds right back on. Snowball effect, right? Snowball effect. Um, so nowadays, I'm gluten free. Yeah. You do what you want. You want to have some rich crackers, that's fine. <laughs> For myself, gluten free all the way. Yeah. For myself, I can actually have two of these in a protein shake, and that's within my numbers. That's crazy. Right? Now, I'm not recommending that people make diets out of junk food anymore. I, I, <laughs> used, I used to recommend this. I actually wrote a book called North American Fat Ass, where I made a diet out of junk food. I lost 60 pounds, and then I put on 30 pounds of muscle. It was insane. I know. That is actually insane. Then I became a nutrition therapist. Yeah. And I realized how important vitamins and minerals were to your body. <laughs> so I don't recommend that anymore. But if you think I'm going to go the rest of my life without eating a fudgicle, you're crazy. Yeah. Right? He's got to have his fudgicles. So if I'm going to have something that we think I shouldn't, have it in portion size. Yeah. Right? And then it's not really cheating. Essentially, it's not. Because it's, it's not. Within it fits. Reason. Right? Now, there is some stuff that really just doesn't fit well. You said you like Eggos. Yes. And in Sometimes two Eggos, <laughs> how many Eggos would you have in a sitting? Probably like two. Two Eggos. If I'm like really hungry, maybe three. Okay. <laughs> so uh, first of all, now you can have two. Yeah. There's 30 grams in two Eggos. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's going off the top of my head. Yes. Uh, at the same time, do you put anything on your Eggos? Yes. What do you do? You know, you put the butter, you put the Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. <laughs> So, how much Aunt Jemima can you have? <laughs> Maybe like a tablespoon? <laughs> you can have two tablespoons on nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat that. <laughs> you can have two tablespoons on nothing and still lose weight. But by the time you put this on your egos, you've just gained weight. Wow. Right? Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yes. Um, do you have any questions? Okay. If you don't, you don't. If you do, you do. I mean, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. You just portioned this all. Yeah. What do you think is going to be your biggest obstacle? The amount of food that I have to eat, that is going to be my biggest obstacle. You are right on the money. Yeah. You are right on the money. Yes. Eating the food is a full-time job. It definitely is. For the first two weeks. I mean for the first two weeks? For the first two weeks, it's a full-time job. After that, your body needs it. 
I know when the three hours is up. I know when it's time to eat. I am starving. And you're gonna call me in two weeks and you're gonna be like, this is unbelievable. You're gonna lose several pounds and you're gonna be starving and you're gonna be eating all this food. That's just insane. Insane. But I'm not insane. I'm 100% right on this. I've done it, I've done it with so many people that it's just simple. That's it, knowing is half the battle. Yeah, knowing hope is half the battle. Hope I don't get sued for that. <laughs> Regardless. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that pretty much sums it up. I mean, guys, if you have any questions, my email address is underneath. Feel free, email away. I had one person email me last week and show me a meal that they made, and it was a little out of proportion. It was a chicken burger with a bun and a little tiny bit of French fries. Now, I could tell that there was 18 grams of carbs in those fries. So she did her job on the portioning, but she didn't take into account that she couldn't have the bun at the same time. Oh, the bun. See, people don't think about people, that kind of they stuff. They don't think about that. So what I do with my clients is I get them to text me pictures yeah. of their food. So you're gonna text me how many pictures tomorrow? I'm gonna text you six pictures tomorrow. Five pictures tomorrow. Five. <laughs> Five pictures for it's okay. It takes a little bit to get going. Yeah. But you know what? Eventually, it's it's second nature. I don't have to think about this at all. I know that's a meal. I know two of these is a meal. I know two of those is a meal. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, it just it, it becomes, becomes it becomes second nature. I don't have to think anymore. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um, if you have any questions, give me an email. If you have any interest in the program. Give me a call, let's get on this, let's go grocery shopping. Yeah. I just went grocery shopping for my first time in Newfoundland via Skype, my oh. first Newfie client. Yeah, and it went very well. She is texting me pictures and I am correcting them as she goes. That's amazing. You know what I, I mean? The ability to even do that. Unbelievable. I can go grocery shopping with you anywhere in the world. That is amazing. Right? So anytime I need you, I'm FaceTiming you. FaceTime, text. Yeah. I'll take one look at your picture Everything. and tell you, you, had, you didn't have enough protein. You had too much carbs. Where's the fat? Do you know what I mean? Yes, and I love that. I love that you're- I'm available. here for you. Yeah. Absolutely. Amazing. Awesome. Are we gonna go take our shirts off or what? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> See you out front. We're gonna get naked. Yeah. <laughs> Great, so this is your day one measurements. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready for this. Let's do it. All right, let's get naked. Let's get naked. <laughs> this is a huge part of nutrition. <laughs> False advertising. Right? <laughs> okay, turn so you can see the cameraman. We are 37. Do a little turn for me. Oh, this way. Oh, Whatever. Oh, Turning. Right? So that's the waist. 37. Let's do hips. 48. Can we get that? Forty-eight. Fantastic. Okay. That's good enough for you. Guys, I cannot wait to stick this around my waist. I measured in at 45 and a half around, I believe. Okay. On April 9th. It is now May 5th. Where are we at? We are at 41 inches. 41 inches, guys. That is... Insane. Insane! That is insane. I'm speechless. It's results is what it is. And it's why I'm in front of you today. It's why I'm renting a kitchen, because I see value. I see value and I think that everybody should really know this. So guys, please share this on Facebook. Like, show this is friends, a nice... Show your family. This this actually works. It's actually working. I would not risk looking stupid in front of millions of people like this. So give me a call and let's get your ass on this program. <laughs> High five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you next time, guys. So much fun. <laughs>